Hey, what's up everyone on YouTube, you YouTube fucking bitches. This is me, Devin, y'all. And yeah, you have decided to click on this. Don't ask me why, but you just fucking did. And yeah, but just remember, these videos are all just for a laugh, because my life is that fucked up, so you can laugh at it, bitches. So yeah, if you ever hear like background noise or anything, don't mind it. You know those fucking neighbors all up in my fucking business like they were born to do or something? Those fuckers, those fucking neighbors, I swear to God. They made me so fucking mad that I couldn't help it, but I had a tweet about them on my fucking Twitter. Like, literally, fuck the neighbors, everyone. Like, just fuck the neighbors. Yeah, hashtag fuck the neighbors. Yeah, and we totally gotta get the windows fixed, too, because we're basically, like... Announcing to the whole fucking world that, oh yeah, we're a trap house. Yeah, because basically our windows say it all, bitches. And yeah, I just wanted to fucking say that, like, I found out that fucking... Those emojis, yeah. <laughs> those fucking emojis, they always fucking break up relationships. Like, literally, I found that out, especially... When bitches are in the homeless shelter and they're already fucking breaking down because those bitches are homeless. <laughs> I'm not. I have nice hair. They don't. <laughs> and it's pretty funny too because like emojis break up. Like these two little fucking whores that was bitching about not getting alcohol. Oh well, suck it up. You know what? How about you bitches beard me a bridge, cry me a motherfucking river, and get the fuck over it. Because all the LCBOs close at 5. If you was a real fucking alcoholic, you would have known that. You dumb fucks. Like, you literally only have $20. Why don't you just go to the bar, get some fucking booze, and you're hot enough, show them some fucking titties or something, they would give you money for fucking more alcohol. I don't fucking know. If you don't want to, like, fucking have sex with them, I don't fucking know. Just do that. Just, just really fucking exposing. Then that bitch was fucking tripping. That her, her fucking boyfriend put a fucking heart face and like those two little heart faces smiley things and those that fucking heart thing to some next fucking bitch she was talking about i was like yo calm down yo it's like i'm not gonna calm down i need a drink well i basically said well you know what i fucking need on a daily pot and i don't always fucking get it and you don't see me tripping like you do well maybe sometimes but i don't give a fuck i have nicer hair than hers like her roots are coming out mine's saying kind of in the only reason it's coming out right now is because fucking cunts in public said, like, hey, it's funny, they'll stress me out. You know what, fuck you guys, because I'm just going to re-bleach it, re-fucking dye it, and you can all bite me. Yeah. Because I am not letting my fucking hair go orange like a ginger. Fuck that. Like, I already found out I'm a witch child. I am not going ginger. Fuck that, and fuck that. Everyone, because, like, I was a natural blonde before the fucking chemo decided to fucking take out my fucking blonde hair. So I fucking had enough. And I have an experiment. I might do one day, but, um, I don't know. I have a feeling I'm never going to fall out because fucking I just bleach it. And fucking a month went by and it was so I bleach it and it was perfect for just a touch up a fucking dye, hair dye, blonde one. And fucking it faded five days fucking later. Came in the roots fully. I think I always said that, but I don't give a fuck. That pisses me off. So yeah, if my roots can handle chemo and rat poison, making it come out and ball like a fucking chicken, I'm gonna try and make it go blonde naturally. I'm just gonna bleach it and blonde dye it so much that the roots would just died and come back with fucking blonde. Cause yeah, I believe I can take it, but I don't know yet. I'm still deciding. But I am bitches going blue hair in the summer, July and August, and getting my tongue pierced, my lip pierced, and go get new clothes. And then, yeah. So, then, yeah, yeah. Fuck you all. And then I'm going to take a selfie, post it on Twitter, and be like, come on, boys. Y'all know you want to fuck a fleet at least once. And then in September, I'm going to go back completely natural. And then on my birthday, I'm going to go back to blonde. Fuck it. And I don't know what else I'm going to do. Who knows? Who fucking knows? And yeah, just have to say those fucking emojis really break up fucking relationships. It'd be kind of nice if they fucking had like, a, just a, like sex emojis. So then like when people like send sex or nudes back and forth, 
They can fucking put a little emoji there too. Like, come on, Apple, get with the future. Not everyone is sweet and fucking innocent, you dumb fucks. Sorry, but not sorry. You should wake up and smell that coffee. You should really just do a sex emojis. And then at least, when someone being a real fucking asshole and a fucking dick, you can just send them a big black cock on the fucking message. And then they would get the message probably to fuck off. And if they don't, well, I don't know what else to do. Block them, I guess. So, so, yeah. So, yeah. That was my little fucking rant for the day, bitches. I gotta wait for my bestie now to message me. She's helping me to get drugs. Yay! <laughs> so, yeah. Bye, everyone.